Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, uh, talking about holidays or vacations, depending where you come from. It's a topic that keeps coming up on the various forums and chat rooms. Chat rooms? That's not even a thing anymore. It's a topic that comes up a lot on Facebook groups and forums and things like that. How to care for your fish when on holiday. So I'm going to take you through what I do to care for my fish when I go on holiday. That doesn't mean it's the only way to do it or it's the right way and you're doing it the wrong way or anything like that it's just this is what I do it's what works for me and um, I go away for work quite a lot I'm away for three days at a time five days at a time uh, this time we're going away family camping holiday we're going away for a week so I'm going to take you through everything that I do to prepare my fish tanks uh, for that holiday So like I say, we're going away for a week camping, um, so the fish tank's going to be left alone. I'm not getting anywhere else to come in and feed them. I don't think that's a very good idea. Um, so all that I'm going to do for my fish tanks, and that goes for these little tiny ones, same as it does from saltwater tanks, for my big discus tanks, for the fish room tanks, all the same, I'm going to do absolutely nothing. I'm not going to touch them, I'm not going to feed them. So I'm going to take you with me on my holiday and then we'll come back and hopefully when we come back we can have a look and see firsthand that everything has been fine and will be fine. Um, but my reasoning is that fish are fine for a week, there's plenty of things in an established tank. I'm, I'm assuming we're talking established tanks. Um, there's plenty of little bits of algae and things for fish to feed on. Um, they will be absolutely fine and if you mess with your setup just before you go away that's just a recipe for disaster in my book so I wouldn't advise changing anything don't do a big massive water change the day before you go don't do a big massive feeding the day before you go because you don't normally do those things so you don't know what the effects going to be and you're not going to be there to monitor it and that's the same reason I take off my auto feeders is because I know they do fail uh, they have failed on me before where they've dumped in a load of food but I've been there so I can scoop it back out again when I'm away I can't do that so I just take away that problem and I know everything will be fine so I just stick to my normal routine uh, and leave it at that if I was going away a bit longer or I was really worried about something in particular you can get these um, little pill boxes that have like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday on them and I was going to get someone to feed, I'd use that method where I can fill up each day with the amount of food I want them to put into the tank so there can be no no miscommunication, no misunderstandings it says Monday, that's what you put in on a Monday, end of story but really, unless you're going away for more than a week don't even think about that um, so, like I say, that's all I'm going to do, so let's go on holiday Me and number one son. Hi. So Alistair got a bit bored, so we had to come back and sit in the car to avoid a meltdown. My dad stole my TV stick. Oh yeah, they were giving away these Now TV sticks. If you signed up for a, a month's trial of Now TV, so except it was twenty pounds. Yeah, and they gave me it, and I didn't sign up. So, way. But we've got. The other two and mum are still going round the castle with a load of the friends and then we've got about two hours drive down to Surrey and then we can set up the, awesome. the tent at the campsite and then we can think about our holidays all about going to amusement parks so we've got Thorpe Park and Chissington World of Adventures but I'm sure that would be great fun so 
See you in a couple of hours. Also, ITV, if you're watching, don't sue my dad, please. He's poor. It's not ITV, it's now TV. Oh, well, now TV. But anyway, yeah, don't sue me anyway, whoever you are. But we'll see you in a bit. Three, one theme, two theme parks down. A couple more to go. Check out the digs. Um, might do a bit of fishing today. We'll see how we get on. Blah. It's me and the heron having the same amount of luck fishing. This is the lake at the campsite. Apparently there is 30 pound carp, but none of them that want to jump on the end of my hook. back you can come and look at the fish live with me live-ish see the excellent packing job that they've done we only went away for a week take you inside we'll have a look at the fish and see what's alive and what's dead we'll start in the garage I think all the lights should be on Hello. Puffer still here. So this filter, this filter's fallen down and blowing the sand everywhere. But other than that, everything looks good. A black ghost knife fish. You probably can't see him, but he's in there at the back. Little puffer fish, he's out, he's okay. Um, stand over here. So this is an angel fish I inherited from one of the tanks that I look after. They changed their stocking so I had to take this guy in. He's fine, he's my snail tank. Everything going well in there. Uh, crib tank, everything looks okay. This filter has decided to go for a float, so that's not right. That needs to get sorted out, but it's still running. Um, but yeah, can't see any bodies or any problems. Uh, down here we've got the bristle nose tank. Everything looks okay there. Yep, so everything obviously needs a feed because they've not been fed for a week. Guppy and cherry shrimp tank, everything looks fine in there. Can't see any problems. Same with that one, not much to see. You know, is that filter working? Um, over here, what's left of the rainbows? A bit of algae build up there. But other than that, everything seems okay. 
see any problems. Rainbows are looking good. Um, water levels dropped quite a bit in these tanks. They're just more guppy tanks. I'm actually going to switch all these over just to be snails, but um, yeah. So far, so good. Let's go and have a look upstairs. Let's start in my office. Saltwater tank. The clowns at the back, a couple of damsels coming out, corals are all out. It's a bit dusty, don't know what's going on there. And something's dug up my one of the corals there. The candy cane corals that's been all dug up for some reason. So something's been digging. Something's been digging in and around here. Yeah, all the fish look okay. Temperature's okay. Um, this little shrimp tank here. Yeah, I can see shrimp. I can see fish. Also looks okay. Not that I was expecting any different. Let's go and have a look at the discus tank. Wow, it's got a bit overgrown. I have to change the name of this to the jungle tank. Look at that. These lilies have really taken off as well. So that was just a couple of leaves that appeared. I put that in about six months ago and it's done nothing. And then about a month ago, it sprouted a couple of leaves, a couple which have gone right up to the top. Look. But yes, all the fish look good, all the plants look really good. I'm not even sure how you trim these. Do you just take scissors to them and cut them to the right height or what? I don't think that's even meant to be a carpeting plant, but it is carpeting. But yes, certainly something's going right in this tank. Although that plant at the back is looking a bit brown and yucky. So, if you see there, one of the overflows, a couple of leaves have started to block it up a little, or covered it partially. So the second overflow has started to take some of that over there, which is why there's a slight noise coming from the sump. Let's turn it around and see if you can hear that. But nothing terminal. That looks pretty good. So, that's why I would say my advice if you're going away on holiday, what to do with your fish tanks is as little as possible. They will be fine. So, thanks for watching everyone. If this is your first time here, make sure you click that subscribe button. It really helps out and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.